All right, we're finally diving into rigging. No, you didn't like that one? No, it's not good enough? Diving? No, sharks? No, screw it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna make this uh, rig a shark series. Boom, stay tuned, Discovery Channel, rig a shark, animation methods. Ah! What is that? Ah, we're inside. Oh my god. Okay, so this is what we're going to rig. I'm going to give you guys this model. I found it for free online. You guys can try to look for it on Google, but I'm going to post it somewhere on my website. On my website. Um maybe around here. I don't know. I'll let you know. Check out the description. I'll post it there. But also check out the rigging book if you guys want to learn how to rig a character. Uh, and you know don't make a lot of the rookie mistakes you want to rig it the right way you want to learn it the right way so that when you get a job you're rigging it the right way check out my rigging book I swear to you, you're gonna learn a lot of stuff and I try to keep it very easy I don't I try to explain what the terminologies are because a lot of riggers are it's very technical so I'll try to explain it in in layman's terms <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make this little sharky here. So first thing you want to do, go to YouTube. I recommend you go to YouTube and you look at things that you're gonna rig and find out how they move. All right, so check out this shark right here. Sharky, Sharky wants some fishy. Sharky's hungry for Nemo. So. What you want to see here is, you know, you see how that tail whips. You want to look at how the mouth moves. So when we're rigging it, we want to get like that, where the hinge is for the jaw. You want to see how the tail moves. Uh, do the little flippers on the side move. And ah, what is that? Humans ah. So you want to look at this fin. You want to look at the top fin, right? So that's what I did. Um, just look at some reference and see how things move. And that'll tell you sort of how you can start rigging something, all right? So what I learned from that is you want to keep the head separate from the body. In other ways, uh, you want to rig it so that we can move from here on back so all this can whip like that. And then you also want to be able to whip the head separate from the body, if you want to call it. Like from here on, about this section here and back, it's the body. And then about from the gills here and forward is the head all right so that's what I'm gonna teach you right now and first thing we're gonna do is go to the side view make sure that all your translation and your rotations scale doesn't really matter but it, it's, it's okay make sure everything is on zero so let's say you actually move this guy or whatever and you have numbers here right uh, it's best to zero everything out Make sure you're in the center of the grid. All right, so if you go to the, the front viewport, you see how the shark is right on the center here? I can even move this slightly up, like he's right on top of that that grid line there. And then check him out here on the. So something like that. And let's say I want this to be my 0, zero. So what I can do is go to modify freeze transformations what that's going to do is it's going to say this is my default pose all right every time i i animate him and i move a controller and then i i say okay i want him to go back to its default pose and then i click on a controller and say zero this is what i should get all right you should always have a default pose so that's it uh the pivot point doesn't matter so much of where it is you know the the bones would dictate how things move so we're not going to worry about the pivot point uh, make sure you're under animation and a lot of the tools that we're going to use are under skeleton for creating our joints so this joint tool that you see here is what we're going to be using a lot so if, if you want you can go to your tool settings say reset tool make sure we both have the exact same uh, settings and what I like to do here is keep this short bone length 
the same as hmm, how was it keep these the same so this is going to be set to 1 and this is going to be set to 0.5 so they're pretty much the same here so this doesn't matter primary axis okay uh, primary axis means a joint will point to another joint from the x-axis that's usually normal uh, but I'm going to use a script for this for doing the joint orientation uh, so to add this tool to your shelf which is this button right here you see these little blue circles you do a control shift and click that tool and then you'll see it pop in here so if I go to my side view um, and right under here in the viewport you'll see this little button here not above here not on the on the shelf but here where it says view shading lighting blah blah, blah. and then you have all these icons these are pretty useful because over here you see this one says x-ray and you click that and you can see through your model so you can see where you're placing your joints and you, what you want to do here is you wanna you sort of wanna see where things are gonna divide where your shark is gonna bend so that's where you wanna place your joints so I'm gonna click that joint tool and I'm gonna create the first joint ever in this model now remember I don't know if you guys have been following me on my Facebook uh, animation methods fan page the tip that I posted there was the first joint that you create is called your root joint that's the root joint that's going to move your entire model or when you do it in a character your root joint is by the hips so when you move the hips uh, the entire model moves from there that's the center of gravity so I'm gonna create a joint right about here where the neck is gonna start and the body is gonna start so I'm gonna create the joints I'm just gonna click once and then I'm just gonna show you right now the direction in which you create your joints matters so if I create them this way click just click click and click press enter uh, let me show you the directions that the joints will rotate so again remember this is the first one that I created so this is called my root joint but my automatically names them like joint one joint two joint three you can see here in the channel box joint four five and six right so my root joint can rotate and it can translate it can move so when I move this the whole shark is gonna move from here alright this is this is why it's called the root joint it's very unique because it can rotate and translate okay the rest of the joints if I click this one if I move it you'll be like well you can move it you know what's the big deal well really you're not moving it you're stretching it if you look at the distance from this joint to this joint it's pretty small but once you move it you are stretching the freak out it so you don't want to do that all right you don't want to stretch it so me undo that so the thing with these other joints is you cannot move them you can only rotate them so you can see that it rotates from here on forward so where you see the joints pointing that's the direction that it's forward so this one is pointing at this joint this joint is pointing at this one and you can rotate it this way and I'm doing control Z to undo that rotation rotate it control Z right so this way is forward or that's what they call forward kinematics because you're just moving forward this way alright so here's some other questions you guys might have let me go to the side view so if I created the joints the other way let's say I, I didn't know I was like oh I'm just gonna start here at the back maybe here or whatever right and start clicking away like this and I'm like yes yeah, my left shark woohoo so 
if I try to rotate this the way a shark swims I start rotating the front of it imagine the the skin here of the shark is attached to that bone it it doesn't really move in a natural way you notice that I'm trying to like if I come back here this is a tail and I'm like let me rotate the tail notice that the entire shark is gonna rotate which is not what I want that's why let me delete that that's why you want to start from here and go this way so now when I select that joint and rotate it it's starting to move more like a fish alright so keep that in mind uh, the joint that you first create and then the direction that you're gonna make that chain is gonna dictate how your shark is going to move alright so always keep that in mind um, so yeah with that let's get started so the first joint I'm gonna create is right I wanna keep it sort of in the middle I don't wanna put it up here I don't wanna put it down here you wanna keep it sort of in the middle of the model so about there and then I'm gonna go and say where do I want the shark to bend so I wanna put one about here maybe something like that and then I'm just gonna create another one about here you know thinking about it I want the shark to bend around this area right there so about there I want the shark to bend here about here yeah another one maybe I'll create a smaller one there and then right at the tip where the fins meet and then I'm just gonna end it with one way back here like that and then hit enter and then that creates my joints alright so another question you might have you might be like well what if I wanna adjust my joints adjusting joints let me show you um, make sure you install this script go to my animationmethods.com and go to scripts and then uh, download this joint orientation script and I have a video here that teaches you how to use it so if you guys want to check that one out check it out because it's very useful just download it and install it and then it's gonna look like this joint orientation so this is a script that I have here uh, something that I want to show you right away is the joint orientation which if you haven't seen that video yet I have another video um, you guys can go to my website again I have my tutorials I'm, I'm telling you I'm giving you a lot of free stuff here I have tutorials on a bunch of stuff look here you go to where do I have that parenting joints creating joints I believe creating joints in this video here I talk about uh, the joint orientation so check this video out which is very important then what you want to do is select the root and then right click on the root joint and go to select hierarchy S hierarchy is just uh, the order in which you created your chain so it's all all the joints here that you see here create what's called a hierarchy it's just the order of operation and then click the first button up on the top left of this script it says show axis and you want to show this um, and you'll see right away these little uh, X Y and Z axis so this is what you want to see Y is up so Y is up in our world and then X will always typically always points to the next joint so you can see this little line that says X points at the next joint here so that one points at that one that one points over here and that X so it, it goes on but notice that all of these joints have the exact same orientation right that's very important you want to make sure that Y is up on all of them and X is pointing on all of the other joints except this last one you see that X is pointing to the side 
what you want to do here is go to aim axis make sure it's X remember aim is aiming at the next joint up axis should be Y not X remember Y is up and then again it's gonna ask you world up direction you want to make sure that this is X Y and Z make sure that it's set to Y so click Y right here and then it's gonna just put a one right there and then while we still have all these selected you want to do a orient joints so you'll notice that it kept everything the same except this last one it automatically fixed it so now X is still going in that out direction like these other joints were alright so that's very important why is that very important why do you need to worry about joint orientation because it can make the world a living hell for an animator I will hate your guts if if some of these are pointed Y up and then Y on, on the rest of them like these are pointed down so watch this I'm gonna I'm gonna screw some of these up on purpose so Z aim at Z and then up is X and then I'm just gonna grab these onward and say orient joint so that one's screwed up I'm gonna grab this other one over here I'm gonna screw this one up I'm gonna say Z or X I don't really care say orient joint so that one's all screwed up so let's take a look here I'm gonna select all of these joints let's say I was the animator and I wanted to grab all of this and I wanted to curve the shark like a C so I'm gonna grab this guy I'm gonna grab that guy grab this one so I'm holding control shift and clicking on these joints and then I'm gonna say let's rotate them all of them like this so you notice that everything is straight right everything should rotate just on this axis here like like that but you notice that yeah it is a C curve shape but if you look at it from the side look at this it's going straight 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 and then it just goes down to crap why because I told it to rotate our axis should rotate on the Y but because the orientation for this one was screwed up and this one was screwed up it's not gonna work so let me undo this and let me show you the right way select that one do select hierarchy uh, joint orientation let's do it the right way again X Y and Y orient joint okay let's try it again now that they're fixed let me just grab this axis rotate all of them and now check it out see how everything is perfectly straight and we're only rotating like this so you can see how this because the orientation is properly done an animator can easily you saw how I just grabbed this and I curved it so now look at that it's like a shark swimming very easily because everything is rotating together so if I screw some of these orientations the wrong way or it's flipped wrong again the animator will will have a lot of trouble uh, animating this so again select this one the root select hierarchy and go to height axis alright so I just wanted to show you what the uh, how to use that script how to add joints and the importance of the joint orientation alright so catch me on the next video I'm gonna continue working on this and check the description and I'm gonna show you how you can download this model alright and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like it check out my animation methods videos check out the book if you're interested a lot of tips on this one if you want to learn how to animate and how to get a job I'm gonna show you how I did it it's my personal experience and what I've seen a lot of uh, beginners uh, mistakes are and how you can avoid them check out this book alright so I'll be catching you later on the other video